everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm actually going to show you how to make stuffed squid Italian style. Now I've never done this before so it is a first for me. So it has been a request for Sebastian from Sebastian so a big thank you and a big thank you to Maddie for actually providing the squid to Sebastian. Okay, to get started all we do is chop our onions. So finely chop them. So I'd probably use a really large onion or two medium sized onions. Okay, so just get your garlic and crush it. Garlic crusher. Okay, so I've actually got a couple of herbs here from my so garden. I have three sprigs of oregano, one sprig of fennel leaves, three sprigs of parsley. So I've just got one sprig of rosemary. I'm just gonna chop it all up. I'm only gonna roughly chop it because I think it's actually quite nice to have the big pieces of herbs. I'm using three quarters a cup of basmati rice. Just rinse the rice with cold water. Get all the onions in there. Now let that saute for a couple of minutes. And make sure your heat isn't on too high. About a medium heat, I would put it at. Okay, that looks about right. Get the herbs, the herbs in there. Same with the garlic. I'm also gonna pop in some thyme. Pepper, salt, chili. Now this really depends on how much of chili that you actually want in your stuffing. Um, if you like it really hot, add a little bit more. If you don't want any at all, just don't put it in. You can skip this step. Now stir that all in. Just to release the aroma from the herbs. Oh, smells nice. Now I'm gonna lower that heat down a little bit. Tomato paste. I would say about a tablespoon. Now if you feel you have to add a little bit of more oil, you can do so. I might actually put just a drop more in there. sizzle a little bit. That basically just gets the bitterness out of the um, tomato paste. Right. So let's get some wine into this. Check it in about five minutes. Okay, have a look at this. All right, so you will have to put a little bit more water in there. Oh, smells absolutely gorgeous. All right, just a little bit more water. Loving the smell of this. Let's get the lid back on here and simmer that for about another five minutes. So what I'm actually going to do, you know the flaps or the wings of the squid, I'm actually going to chop them up and put them in the sauce and that will actually add flavour and maybe a few of these little tentacle bits. So let's chop all that up. Okay, so let's get that inside the mix. Just 
Just add a drop more water, give it a bit of a stir, lid on, and let's have a look. Beautiful. All right, that's cooked now. So what I'm going to do is allow this to cool in the pan so we can actually stuff the squid in the rice. Cooling down, I'm just going to break up some spinach. Okay, so we just mix that in with the rice. Now in the meantime, I'm actually going to pop in some roasted capsicum or peppers. Now this capsicum, I've uh, roasted it in the oven with a bit of chili, olive oil, some oregano. So I've actually, I store it in the fridge and I've just chopped that up and uh, popped it in to the rice mix because it's already cooked it. There was no need to cook it again. So that's actually cooled down enough so I'm actually ready now to stuff the squid. In the meantime, heat your oven at 220 degrees. Okay, now we're ready to fill the squid. Make sure you've got handy some toothpicks. Now we have the squid. Open it up. So Sebastian was kind enough to clean that for me. Very slippy. So, there we go, we got it in. This actually does really smell gorgeous. Now I'm sort of squeezing it, so I'm trying to get it down there. Oh, it nearly popped out the top like a volcano. So I think we can put just a little bit more in there. So now, let's get a toothpick. Let's do some sewing. So get the toothpick in, straight through to the other side, then straight across. So if some of it's oozing out, use your fingers to stick it in and weave it in and then toothpick out. Just make sure you don't prick yourself. Now I'm gonna turn it over and grab another toothpick and push that through. Again, just be careful you don't prick yourself. Again, push it through like you're sewing. Oh, not too hard. Let's grab another one. <laughs> okay, push it through and then weave it in and then through we go. Okay, so we've actually sealed it into a pocket. So I'm gonna put that in the dish, open it up. Spoon. There we go. I'm gonna get my fingers in and I'm gonna push it down. Oh, my hands are really, you know. I'm gonna forego the spoon. I'm gonna get my hands in there. Now I'm gonna put my hand there because it has got a hole. I'm gonna put my hand there to try and keep it in, but I am gonna use a toothpick afterwards to um, seal it up. I don't think I can put much more else in there. Just get a toothpick, push it through. Over the other side. Push it through. Just want to come out the side to be honest where the hole is. It's okay, so I'm gonna squeeze it in here. So I'm going to put it face down, that's better. Lucky last. I'm really loving the smells. My mouth is absolutely watering. There we go. Pepper. Ow. Get some foil. Get that over the top so it goes 
cooks a little bit. Now let's get that in the oven. Cook it in the oven for about 25 minutes at 220 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh, how nice does that look? <laughs> it looks really cool, guys. He's happy. Just soaking in those aromas. <laughs> mm, I know you can't smell it on the camera, but boy. It actually it really is cool. nice. I'm going to take you off there. I really wish you could smell this. Actually, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's plate this up. <sighs> I hope this works. There we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Drop some of this sauce on top. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Take the toothpicks out prior to serving. Okay, let's see. Right. Beautiful. Do you like it? Well, Manny, thank you so much for providing the squid and really appreciate it. And I'm sure these guys are really enjoying. <laughs> All right, bye everyone for now. Bye. Bye.